Hello YouTube, it's Annie again. Um, I apologise, I'm in my pyjamas. I'm just making a quick vlog um, because I'm having my spinal block tomorrow. So I thought I should do sort of the evening before, the morning, and then hopefully during if my surgeon will let me film it. Um, yeah, I'm feeling very, very nervous. I feel actually sick thinking about it. I'm just sort of hoping that it will go okay, but you have all these worries in your head, you know. Will it actually work? Will I find any pain relief from it? Uh, all those sorts of things. So, just feeling quite apprehensive. And my sister's graduation tomorrow, and I really want to be there, and I can't because I'm going to be stuck in hospital just having this done. So, I feel kind of bummed out about that because she's worked really, really hard to get her degree, and I'm just, I'm not going to be there to, to see her in her gown and to see her going up and collecting the certificate and stuff, so I feel kind of shit about that because you only graduate once. Um, I've been feeling quite emotional about it as well because hopefully I'm going to be going back to uni. I've had my email confirmation, so um, they've, <laughs> they've all been saying that they're happy for me to go back and they're happy for me to continue my studies, even if I'm going to be in pain sometimes. They said that it should be okay. Um, so that's really, really brilliant news. I'm really looking forward to back in September and seeing the university of France again. Yeah, On the way to hospital for my spinal block, I'm really, really well, apprehensive at the moment. Powers, Got butterflies, feeling a bit. Oh, roundabout. Oh, 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 call it. Chris, well, since I've shown the new book, only one. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit. Every three million years, yeah, yeah, my stomach kind of feels weird. Yeah. So, this is not more of a news at seven o'clock. They've redefined the time. You can now measure the time you're actually. We don't need time to measure more accurately. It's so, yeah, it's a human um, construct anyway. We're more okay. than it's too aware of time past anyway. Now. You know, Got up around and time in science is more of a signpost than anything but else, but isn't it? It's a post-it note yeah. to when things have happened. Right. We're all right here. It's 7:23 and 52. So, um, as you can see, I'm in my gown, ready and um, <clears throat> get it up for the block. I'm feeling. Incredibly nervous now. My stomach feels like it's going to fall out, and I'm feeling really, really emotional, really shaky. Um, my family aren't with me; they're in the other room, and they're not allowed to come to the procedure with me. So this might be it. So I will see you on the other side. Hello. So I've just had my spinal block. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to take my camera in with me. I didn't think I would, to be honest, and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because there was a lot of swearing and a little bit of nudity, and I don't think YouTube would appreciate that. Um, I feel ever so weird. My leg, obviously, I get the numb sensation, but um, this, my torso and my leg, feels like jelly. So if I try to walk, it just kind of like my hip wants to go out to the side. So I'm bopping today. Um, I can show you the site of injection as well in a minute so it just feels very loose. It feels like my leg is made of jelly and I have no bones in it. So <laughs> I'm gonna go out parking tonight obviously with it because I'm gonna be pulling some sick be waving shapes. Around. Be like... <laughs> there we go, you can end that recording. Okay. <clears throat> That's my actual operation scar and this is just the site of the injection so sort of just put the needle down straight, obviously, the angle where the line is into my skin, and then just went down my leg. <laughs> 